Major Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Rain, rain, and more rain. That's what we've been having at Naughty Pine the past few days. It's so wet, most everything in town has slowed down. There's no danger of fire, and it's far too damp to get out and do our routine work in the forests, so the crews have been pulled in from the trails. What we need is a week or two of bright sunshine to dry us off. Instead, we're getting rain, and it's a perfect setting for today's story, Overflow. High up in the mountains, sandwiched in between two jagged walls of a canyon, stands the Big Ridge Dam. This dam holds in place the blue waters of Big Ridge Lake. It's the collecting point for the water flowing from the melting snows of the Shady Mountains. This water is held for irrigation use in the lower part of the state. It's here that our story begins. Hey, it's Lynn. Emergency. Check that pressure gauge. Right, Frank. How's she read? Not so good. Yeah, I thought all this rain and melting would give us some trouble. That's not the word for it. What do we do? Oh, not a bit of time yet. That's only the first sign that we're getting close to the danger point. But the trouble is that I stick my head out to see if it's clearing and... All I can see is rain. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Could I catch a 40? With pleasure. <sighs> I think I go to sleep and wake up two days from now. You fellas sound like Rip Van Winkle, the boring snoozers, <laughs> a whole lot of you. <laughs> but there's no sense in being sleepy. Something always happens anyway. Yeah. I'd die of monotony if nothing did happen. Okay, young fella, what could happen now? Everybody's holed up, waiting for the rain to quit. Ah, uh, that bad time. People not watchful. Yeah, good point, Grey Wolf. Hmm, I wonder how that, uh... Oh, no. Couldn't be. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> What's the matter with Bill? He's talking to himself like a lonesome trapper. It's okay, as long as he don't give any answers. Huh? Oh, excuse me, fellas, uh... I didn't mean to uh, cut you out. It's okay, young fella. Uh, let's hear it. Hear what? Whatever's on your mind. What are you talking about? Well, look at I started uh, to... Bill, uh, a minute ago you talked to self. By the look on face, you're many miles away. Uh, where are you living? Here or there? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Well, uh, I was at a spot not too far from here. And just now, it's collecting a lot of water. Yeah, Big Ridge Dam. That's it. And you know why. Not only is the melting snow pouring millions of gallons of water into the lake from the mountains, but also we've had two days of hard, steady rain. A real downpour. Maybe danger of building up at Big Ridge Dam. See, now there's something to think about. Maybe things ain't as quiet as we thought they were. Uh, fellas, uh, let's take a ride up there and have a look, huh? Uh, I knew something would happen. What 
do you think, Frank? How much more will the dam take before it gets risky? I don't know, Slim. But the water is getting close to the maximum mark. We're violating safety rules even now, letting the water rise higher. The spillways can't take it away fast enough. What do you plan to do? If we open the floodgates, we'll swamp a lot of people down there in the valley. Well, that's better than waiting until the dam cracks open. Then the big lake we're holding back here will really do some damage. Yeah, you're right. But we've got to get a warning out to the folks before we open the gates. Yes, and I know who to call, too. Ranger Bill? Yep, we'll call him right away. He's one man who always has the right answer at the right time. standing everywhere you look. Yeah, there's a lot more standing in Big Ridge Lake. It's only staying there because of a big piece of steel and concrete. Yeah, even that has its limitations. Ah, uh, damn break, then we have big trouble on our hands. I should say so, young feller. There'd be a wall of water coming down the valley a uh, hundred feet high. Well, at least 75 anyway. And that's no exaggeration for a change, Stumpy. Hey, Phil. The red light of our radio telephone's flashing. Huh? Yeah, somebody's trying to call us. Hello, Bill Jefferson. Bill, this is Frank Matt. Stop at the dam. Oh, uh, what can I do for you, Frank? I've got bad news for you. Huh? Water, lots of it. You've got to let some of it go if it gets any higher. We're on our way up to see you right now, Frank. I'm talking from our car phone. Oh, wonderful, Bill. Can you make it fast? We need you badly. We'll be there in 20 minutes, Frank. See ya. Okay, Bill. Bye. Henry, step on it. To Big Ridge Dam. And don't spare the horses. Plant. Yeah, pretty wonderful, all right. It's a long way to the bottom of the valley. But we're not here to admire the scenery, Henry. We've got a job in our hands. Yes, Bill, there's a hundred million gallons of water in Big Ridge Lake held back by this dam. Uh, how fast is the water rising, Frank? Oh, about an inch an hour just now. Yeah? Even with the spillways in full operation. And that's fast, Bill. Too fast. That spells trouble unless we do something about it. Of course, you'll have to open the gates. Oh, but those people in the valley are going to suffer. How much more water can the dam hold back without straining the wall to the breaking point? Not any more than four more inches. That's the absolute maximum amount we can hold back before we have to open the gates. All right. How about opening the floodgates wide three hours from now, right on the head? Then we'll have a timetable to work on. Well, uh... Okay, it's a go. And you'll sound the alarm to all the valley folks. Right. You go ahead, Frank. We'll be ready. Come on, fellas. There's a lot of work to do. And we've only got three hours. I'm watching, Val. Don't worry. Right now, we've got to risk a little personal safety. There are a lot of other lives in danger. Only three hours to get ready. Well, won't be anywhere near as bad as it would be if the dam broke. Yeah, I'll say not. Yes, sir. We've got a tough job ahead of us, young fella. Hey, Bill, have you got your plans all set? It's okay with you, Henry. I'd rather concentrate on our getting there right now. As soon as we get to town, I'll give you the whole plan of operation. Okay. I guess it is better if we get to town in one piece first. But well, at the rate we're going, I'm beginning to wonder. All right, man. 
Here's the plan. Gray Wolf and Stumpy, each of you fellas will have command of one side of the river. Sound the community alarm siren. Then take your crews down to the river and start piling sandbag walls up and down the river bank. Henry, you'll stay with me. We'll spread the alarm all along the river by radio, telephone, television, and so forth. Also, we'll get the railroad bridge anchored down so it won't wash out. Al and Tom will form Paul Revere Corps to drive along the valley and warn everybody to get out. They can make it from here to Death Gorge before the water does. Sounds good to me. That ought to do it, Bill. Also, we'll alert the hospital and rescue units in case of some folks getting trapped because they didn't make it out in time. Everybody understand now what to do? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, those men are really working together. Everybody just pitches in, no grumbling. They've got two good leaders, haven't they, Bill? Right. Gray Wolf and Stumpy are veterans of many battles with the floodwaters. If I know them, they'll give Old Man River a tough fight. Yeah, Al and Tom have loaded their cars with extra gas, I see. Uh Uh-huh. That reminds me, I've asked them to come over and see me before they go. I'm all set to out of here, Bill. Any further orders? Uh, Only this, Al. Be sure you and your bunch don't miss a single ranch down the valley. We'll try not to, Bill. Paul Revere won't have a thing on us. You all set, Tom? Yeah, Bill. I'm on my way right now. Okay, fellas. Now drive safely, but don't waste any time. Hey, this is raining harder again. I'm afraid so, Henry. Well, let's get started. We've got an alarm to spread ourselves. about this rain, Slim. Looks to me like it's getting worse. You think the wall can hold out for three hours, Frank? I doubt it, Slim. It's rising faster than I expected. Bill's been gone only an hour, and the water's risen, let's see, uh, almost an inch and a half. Where's it all coming from? (laughs) You mean, where isn't it coming from? You know, just the other Sunday, we were reading about the flood in Noah's time. The Bible talks about the windows of heaven and the wells of the deep pouring out water. But anything worse than this must be awful. Yeah, it's it's bad, all right. You think we can wait the full three hours before opening the gates? I don't know, yet. It's going to be touch and go from here on. We certainly can't overstrain this dam. If it bursts, the whole valley will be wiped out. Yeah, it'd even put the town of Naughty Pine about four feet under. Ladies and gentlemen, we must interrupt this program. We've just been handed a special bulletin from the forest ranger, Bill Jefferson. All persons living in Big Ridge Valley are warned to leave their homes at once and flee to higher ground. The dam is being dangerously overtaxed, and the floodgates will be opened in two hours to relieve the pressure that is now building up. I repeat, all persons living in Big Ridge Valley are warned to leave their homes at once and flee to higher ground. just now from the Forest Ranger headquarters at Naughty Pine. All persons living in Big Ridge Valley must abandon their homes at once and flee to higher ground. The floodgates of Big Ridge Dam will be open in one hour to 
relieve the dangerous situation now developing. All citizens of this area are urged to join the Ranger crews in helping to build sandbags and buggies to protect the city. about covers radio and television. Telephone companies call on all those in the valley who have phones. Ralph and Tom are warning the people in person. Can we do anything more? Yeah, we can. We'll stop at the hospital for a minute and get some of the ladies in town to supply food for the fellas working on the levees. That's not easy work. You may need those men there a long time. So we've got to see that they get fed. Right. Right now it's the hospital. Yeah. After that, we got to anchor down the railroad bridge. Oh, boy. If that goes, then we are in a tough spot. Uh-huh. Only the Lord willing, we'll fix it so it doesn't wash out. So you have the picture, don't you, Tony? Yeah, sure, Bill. Now, how many loaded gondolas have you got standing here in the freight yard? Uh, uh, let's see. I think I got a uh, forty gondolas coal and twenty-five sand and gravel. Wonderful. Can you back them onto the railroad bridge right away? Uh, boss, I can back them up to the moon if you want me to. <laughs> Just down to the bridge will be fine, Tony. I'd like to see that bridge go somewhere with all that weight, eh? I'm hoping it'll do the trick. Well, I gotta start. So long. So long, Tony. Boy, I'm sure that bridge won't go anywhere. What does one of those loaded gondolas weigh? Oh, about 50 to 75 tons, I imagine. Hmm. Let me see here. About 10,000 tons ought to do the job, eh? Yeah. Well, that takes care of that. Come on, pal. Let's go see how Grey Wolf and Stumpy are making out. the three-inch mark, Frank, and still going up. We reached the peak before we expected it. I know. Frank, I, I don't like this extra flow into the reservoir. You think we can hold out the full three hours like we agreed with Bill? That's what I'm battling with right now. What to do? How close to the breaking point do you think the dam is right now? Pretty close. And there's 27 minutes to go before the three hours are up. How Operation Rescue is going on down in the valley. Why can't we open the floodgates just a little? Just slow down the rise. Mm, that's dangerous, Slim. Good way to start a sedimentary current, which is liable to tear the floodgates right off. But at least we'd eliminate the possibility of the dam busting. At the same time, it'd give the people in the valley more chance to get to high ground and protect themselves. Yeah, you might have something there, Slim. Mm-hmm. Let's give it a try, Frank. Oh, um... All right. Take over those control buttons. Raise the floodgate a wee bit. We'll see what happens. Right. If she shows any sign of strain, we'll lower it right away. Steady now. It's going up. Is it going to work? I don't know yet. I I think so. I hope so. Another couple of minutes will tell. Take it easy. There are thousands of lives at stake. going, Stumpy. Okay, young feller. How is it the way you're shipping? Oh, pretty good in the way those sandbags are piled along the riverbank. These fellers are working geniuses. Boy, this is one time you're not joking, Stumpy. Are those trucks coming fast enough with their loads? Well, they could be a mite faster. Sometimes they just make it by the skin of their teeth. Is that right? I'll take care of that. Henry, get me the trucking company on the radio phone. Right. I've ordered food for your men, Stubby, and coffee. That's good news, young feller. 
A man can't work without grub, that's for sure. A full stomach makes a strong heart. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're right there, Stumpy. Say, uh, watch your men for exhaustion. A good many of them aren't used to this sort of work. Okay, I'll watch them. There are some relief crews on the way. Volunteers from outside the valley. Spell your crews off when these other fellas arrive. I'll do that, Bill. Well, uh, maybe I'd better be getting on back to the job now, eh? Right. Hey, Bill, I've got the trucking company on the phone. Thanks, pal. Hello, this is Bill Jefferson. Uh, how many trucks are you using in this sand hauling job? What? Why are you holding those trucks back? Nonsense. The need is desperate. We've got only 20 minutes before they open the floodgates. Now you get all those trucks out as fast as you can. We'll need a good reserve supply of sand once the water's released. That's an order. The guy holding the trucks back? Yeah, five of them, just in case some broke down. Boy, this is no time to be conservative. Now, let's get back across the river. I want to talk to Grey Wolf. Well, Grey Wolf, how's it going? Oh, good, Bill, but men get tired about now. There are relief crews on the way. Look at the way those fellas are building those walls. Do a good job. Brave men. Strong, too. Those bags weigh 100 pounds each. Uh, Grey Wolf, I've ordered coffee and grub. Uh, ought to be here pretty soon. Mm, that's fine. You can rest your men a bit when the relief crews arrive. I do, Bill. And uh, if anyone gets hurt or drops over from exhaustion, carry them to the ambulances. Nurses and doctors are standing by. Uh, watch your men for signs of heart attack, too. A lot of these boys aren't used to this kind of work. Men very brave. They fight to save home. Right. Well, I'm going to check further down the river a bit, and I'll be back. Okay. Hey, Bill. Yeah, Henry? Isn't that river rising off as fast? Look at it. What do you think, Ray Wolf? Henry Wright. Current faster, too. He probably opened floodgates a little. And that can only mean one thing. Yeah. They're getting more water than they expected. How much longer do we have before the three hours are up? Uh, Twelve minutes. Uh Uh-oh. Sure isn't very long. No. But it might be for the fellas at the dam. I hope it isn't too long. It isn't helping much, is it, Slim? What do you think? We just gained another inch. That's four, eh? Yeah. We gotta let her go. Let's wait till she reaches five. What if the dam gives way? Uh, all we can say is we we'll try to give them a fair chance down in the valley. Three hours' time is little enough to do the job Bill has to do. Look, can't we open the floodgate a little more? Well, all right. Try it, Slim. Let's hope it doesn't tear off the gate. Okay. Watch it. Here goes. That's enough, Slim. We've just picked up another quarter of an inch, and how long? Five more minutes. Everything all right, Grey Wolf? We got more sandbags on wall all along, Bill. Well, I'd say that's enough for now. Better put the rest in reserve. Good. But what I have men do. And keep your bulldozers right handy, Grey Wolf. They can sometimes hold a wall until you can reinforce it. Ah, I got good plan for a plugging brick in wall. That and sandbag many times do good job. Okay. Uh, we're going over now and check with Stumpy. You better get over in hurry. Water coming down fast. It'll be faster after a while. <clears throat> the boys at the dam must be in a tight spot right now. Yeah, they should be. How long now, Bill? Uh, let's see. Uh, three minutes. Let's get across the river right now, Henry, or we'll never make it. Two minutes, Slim. Uh, Too much water. I hope it holds. 145. 
We're taking an awful chance. One thirty. Come on, Frank, give the word. I'm getting scared. What's a minute one way or the other? You'll save a lot of lives, maybe. One minute. Frank, this dam just won't hold any more water. Bite your tongue, Slim. It won't be long. Maybe too long. All we'll hear is a crack on a concrete and it'll be all over. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let it go, Slim. <coughs> Five pounds more of pressure, and that wall would have cracked like glass. Boy, did you see those bags sway and shake when that wall of water hit them? You yes, sir, I sure did. <laughs> now I can laugh, but I ain't been so scared in 30 years. I sure thought that wall was going. But it didn't. And it's all over, fellas. Another good job. Well done. Well, boys and girls, we'll see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill! fellas and gals, Ranger Bill again, stepping in here for less than a minute to invite all of you out there to another half hour of adventure next week at this special spot on your radio dial. We've gathered a pile of stories for you with mystery and adventure and all kinds of excitement, and we don't want you to miss a single one. So next time, call up your friends or get together with them And join all of us rangers for a session of fighting forest fires, grappling with grizzly bears, or just plain trying to help somebody out. We're sure you'll enjoy the story, and you might just learn something that'll be of real help to you in later life. So, next week, be sure to listen.